happening today? A group of young sea cadets going underwater this morning with sea robots. Lisa Vincent is live in Olathe where they're about to start all of this testing. And, you know, it really goes to show you, Lisa, that we really did need to learn math and science in school. <laughs> That is so true, and that's what they're learning here. In fact, we have 15 sea cadets and seven young Marines going through swim qualifications as we speak. Take a look, and you see this group of Marines and young Marines and young cadets out here doing their training. I'm joined now live with Bob Brady. He's one of the trainers. Talk to us about what's going to be going on here today and why this is so important for these young people. Well, what we're trying to do today is teach the, the cadets how to swim because there's a lot of deaths that's that uh, when young adults get into the water some a lot of adults don't know how to swim so one of the, one of the things we're trying to do today is teach them how to swim so that they could survive in the water and then also being in part of the Navy sea cadets they've got to also go through their swim qualifications and they've got to qualify to um, a certain level either a uh, class four class three or class two depending on what type of advanced training they're planning on doing this summer and this is pretty much an all-day training session. That is correct. We'll, we'll be here all, all day today up until about 4 o'clock this afternoon uh, doing the actual swim qualifications. And then after we get done with the swim qualifications, we'll be uh, actually looking and starting our sea perch and finishing up our sea perch program. Awesome. Thank you so much for your time. Now, these young people are ages 13 to 17, and this is really some pretty intense training. You can see, again, they're already in the water, very aggressive training. These are young people who are very much so interested in being in the uh, service. So we're going to uh, visit with them a little bit later on and tell you even more about what's going on here and how young people can still get involved. Reporting live, Lisa Benson, 41 Action News.